Oh, I should live here too. I Hi. saw it already. Oh, Link, we meet again. Father and I came here to see a geoglyph. Sadly, we were talked to it by the blizzard and ground up nearby. After it finally calmed down, we made our way to this village. We plan to get on with finding that geoglyph shortly. Link, I have been wondering, have you found the geoglyph in Southern Elden yet? No, I didn't go to Elden. The map in Forgotten Temple show a geoglyph that looks like a stone tablet. Yeah. We intend to investigate the geoglyph as well. Is that the next one I should have? I should go see. Oh. Geoglyph. Okay. I thought I could talk to Kato. Focus on geoglyph. Yes. Perhaps could have the way as well. Courageous one. Ooh. The map of the forget temple. We intend to go on a journey to visit the geoglyphs it, it, this depicted. However, it was quite a bit of work to cop down the map. If only had a picture capture tool to, to, to make quick work of the task. Yeah, I gotta go back there and take a picture of the wall that I didn't. Here comes the inspector. That's hey hey mister, you're the one who stopped the blizzard, right? Thanks for saving our village. Although even now that it's calm, I still got a lot of work to do. I still patrol the village to see if the snow damaged anything. It's a big job, but I'm pretty good at it. They just live here, ain't they? Could make new arrows. What about now? There are other kind of fruits besides ice. Uh, I've heard about fire, electricity, and water fruits too. If I stick them to the tips of my arrows, there's all kinds of effects I can pull up. Then maybe my dad might use my arrows with his bows. Can I? Okay. I can never have too many arrows. Ah, oh, is that where they're parked? Okay, that's nice. Did I take a picture of the donkey? I didn't take a picture of the donkey. Of course you should have it. Mm, smaller than horses. These are raised as livestock in the countryside, so they don't exist in the wild. They are more powerful in the, than they look and specialize in transporting baggage. This has made them popular with traveling merchants. Yeah, but this is a Sheikah one. What should I do? Let me grab that first. What should you do? Hey. Oh, hey. You're the one who helped totally save the village. We owe you big for that. Oh. Now that the blizzards die down, we are stockpiling all the food and materials we used to have in abundance. The others are uh, all working together to bring supplies to the village. I'm managing the whole process from here. Speaking of which, Huck was supposed to bring me some food, but I haven't seen him. He told me he'd be he'd collected food from Snowfield Stable in the Tabanta Thunder northeast of here. Hmm? I hope nothing happened to him on his way back to the village. Okay. <gasps> oh, never mind me. I was just thinking about a friend of mine who hasn't come back yet. Huh? Hey, you wouldn't happen to have any spare food you'd be willing to part with, would you? Our food stockpiles are looking healthier than now that the blizzard has stopped, but they could still be better. If you have extra food, I'd be happy to trade you for some supplies. Ah. I could offer you, say, 10 arrows for 3 glowing cave fish. That doesn't sound too fair, but I do have them. They're not hard to find if you look in caves. Ah, so you're carrying at least three glowing cave fish. Would like to exchange them for ten arrows? Sure, it's a quest. It's a deal. <laughs> Thank you. That really helps. Here's ten arrows as promised. Yeah. Huh? Oh yes, do you have any other spare food on you? Two faint throat and bright caps are the little one's favorite foods. So they can never get enough around here. Wow. If you come across extra leader uh, of those, uh, bring them to me and I'll give you more arrows in exchange. Thanks in advance. 
Okay. Fish for catch. That's that's to the question. Okay, it's that. That's just extra optional. Oh yeah, that guy that was in front of the freezing cave. Would I miss his quest? No, where was it again? Mm. Mm, that cave, where was it again? Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, uh, if it isn't the guy who worked with Tullin to save the village. Everyone in the village is happy to stretch their wings again without them icing over. So thanks for that. And the end of the blizzard has improved visibility too. It's much easier now to find caves where we can get our food. Uh. I saw one just the other day, in fact, while I was flying around, but I forgot exactly where it was. It had a rock written in green light inside it. Mm. I didn't see one of those here, inside a cave. Just like the one beneath the general store. Uh, just where did I see the cave anyway? I found it while I was looking for that white bird. Do I have bird's guidance? Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there were mushrooms in it and a pond with fish. It would have been the perfect place to stock up on supplies. All I remember is that I found it while looking for the white bird. There was a white bird. Oh. Yeah, have you ever looked up at the peak of the spire here in Little Village? Oh, we can see a white bird from here as well. Ah. And just that bit shutting out sideways looks kind of like a bird's perch, right? We call it Vamedo's perch. Yeah, where is it? Did you guys drop it on the lake below? Mm. Part of my morning routine is to head up there and bask in the sun as it rises. That day I was getting some sun up on the perch, same as always, just when the door was breaking. Right about then, I looked to the west and saw a white bird resting atop the long shadow of the perch. Okay, at dawn, look for shadow. Uh, it's weird for a bird to rest on the shadow, right? It was curious, so I went to go have a look where I saw the bird. Thing is, I couldn't find the white bird again after that. Instead, I found the cave entrance. It's kind of like the white bird led me to the cave. Mm. I don't know why I can't remember all that so clearly, but not where the cave was. Uh, this is frustrating. And instead of details, uh, was there anything that stood out? Let me think. I was lucky to find it. I don't think the area around the entrance was anything special or memorable. But it was right next to a resting white bird, that much I do remember. Uh, deep inside, I can make out a rock with a green light, like ones beneath the general store now. Uh, if I could just remember where I found it, and we have more places to search for food. Getting warm clothes. Hi. Hello, mister. The blizzard stopped, so the grown ups are back, but I'm still gonna help out around the shop. There's always work to do. Uh, armor on ah. clothes. When the blizzard drove off most of the adults, the kids hung in there and kept things going. Then closed the shops. I can't express enough how much we own the little ones. They are the savers of this village. Ah. This is their armor shop, Brazen Beak. I'm happy to say we're open for business. Ah. So then, what can I do for you? Where's this place? Ah. This is their armor place. I have to open for business. Our armor is perfect for protecting yourself against the cold. If you're heading into the mountains, the cold gets pretty biting there. Prepare for it to for prepare for it now or regret it later. Now then, is there anything else? Goodbye. Yeah. Okay. That has some money. I don't have any money. Just uh, uh, I'll get it afterwards. Uh, I'll probably get some money from doing quests around and stuff. Hmm. Next time not a mess, I still don't have. Uh. Thanks to kids, my shop's back in business. Even now that she doesn't need to run the shop anymore, Pre is going around the village advertising for me. Plus, with the lizard gone, I can stay stuck up on products again. With a bit of work, my shop will be better than ever. <laughs> the shop being the Zipper Falcon General Store, browse at your leisure. Uh. What brought you here today? No, what is this uh. one saying? 
I think of us next time we need to keep. Mm, I wasn't done sleeping. Uh, I really want to sleep in some more, but it's work time now. I gotta keep my eyes open for customers. Mm. I'm also worried about having to leave the kids behind during the blizzard. But after it was over and I returned, I discovered the most amazing thing. Cots had been making the beds. <laughs> Cots, the girl who'd use any excuse to get out of ch chores. She was helping out all on her own. Leaving the place entirely up to them turned out to be a great idea. I suppose that's how kids grow up. This is Swallow's Roost, the British Village Premier and only in... Ah. Regular bed, okay, no. Mm. Oh, oh well. Um, you're welcome anytime you need to to rest. I'm ah, good, I can still go there. What? Hmm. Tolling is all has granted you the power to summon his avatar. Ah, okay, so I can walk around here. Oh, there's a chest there. <laughs> Let me see any chest I can get. But... Like, there is a replacement for Revise Gale. Strong constructs ball. I did break one. Is that part of the dungeon? I guess it is. Um, I'll probably go out of order, but that's right there. I think I'm gonna get that one. Hmm. I didn't see one of those yet. Okay, can I just... Okay, so I'll need that. Cool. I can go back, I can only go forward. Oh, it completely breaks. Hmm. Well, I can get the teleport, but the shrine isn't here yet. Seek the crystal connects to the being and offer it at the shrine. The soul and I bring you a light that benches evil. Is he sky crystal? Whoa! There was more light. So the investor can bring some light to dark places. It shines in one direction. Uh, it's light doesn't reach too far, but it can come in handy on dark roads or caves. Sled. Sun device with a leak underside that minimizes friction. Probably used to convey things over grass and sand in ancient times. And what if I place that on a shield? In a cart, a sunny device built to move efficiently over flat surfaces. Apply force to get it moving so long as it has a power source. If I put that on a shield, I gotta escape. Give me more. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's it. Just take that and drive there. Go so close to the ground. Can I just bash through it? No? Ah, there is Picangos uh, Island. I thought maybe it was this one. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. That sounds like a Rorro's blessing, not a puzzle. Just so that was the puzzle. Precious yellow ore contains the power of electricity, it's been known to fetch high price since ancient times. Okay, now I know for sure I've got at least one of each of the three elements. Let's get the tower. And you probably help me. I see meat. Frozen slab of animal meat. If you can manage to chew it up and swallow it, you will start some hearts and lower your body temperature. That actually reminds me to get a few frozen things here. Mm. I already got that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any more. I don't think any of those others will get frozen here. Frozen throat, being frozen has condensed the taste of fish inside this throat's body. Eat it to provide a temporary boost to your heat resistance. Frozen cave fish, a frozen glowing fish is just easier to eat than an unfrozen one, and once eaten, it makes heat more bearable for a short time.
Okay, source map updated. Mm, looks mostly the same. Sky map updated. Oh, the cube's right on top of the other. Damn, I kind of want to check that as well. Oh, yes, I think there was something that changed in the map. I was setting edit in the beginning. Yeah, this road comes here. It used to pass right in the middle of the bridge of the mice. Mm. Oh, there's a monolith here. Examine. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. So I will need to translate ancient Hyrulean. Ah, uh, that's a new ancient Hyrulean that we didn't have before. Ah, uh, the Great Eagle Wall. He has one. Well. Let's check that. Oh, there's a shrine over here. Ah, two. I found something important. Oh, damn it. I should have fallen up there. Tabanta moose, the largest breed of deer in Haru. This mammal's origin was tracked back to the Tabanta region. It's easily distinguished by its immense antlers, uh, which the moose shed and regrow yearly. Their meat is tender and high quality, so it works well in a stew. Strong Zonai shield. A shield used by the Zonai and made of Zonite. It's moderately durable and lowers the power energy consumption of attached Zonai devices. Oh, we know maybe there's a cave. In the walls. Yeah, I want a nicer picture of you. That works. Cold footed wolf. This breed of marauder wolf lives in snowy mountainous areas such as the Hebrew Mountains. They travel in packs similar to their marauder relatives, but are considerably tougher thanks to having adapted to their harsh environment. They've made even more they are made even more dangerous by their white fur, which provides a natural camouflage in snow. <laughs> Oh, man, this looks so weak. <coughs> I see prime meat, high quality frozen animal meat, doesn't restore many parts, but it can lower your body temperature. Balsy stick. Oh, does it work like the spring loaded the hammer? Hmm. Yeah, that used to help. I see gourmet meat. This raw gourmet meat has been frozen for easily traveling. Easy traveling. It's kept. It's kept its flavor through the freezing process. It it will. Eating as is will provide a temporary boost to your heat resistance. Oh, hang on. That isn't. That's a wheel. 
that's a wheel. Oh, I thought that would be a. Uh... The first is off as it means. Ice breath is off as a quick witted lizard like species of monster found all over high road. They are troublesome there are troublesome species that spit balls of ice and start freezing power inside their pale horns. But we will die instantly if touched by fire. They live mainly on snowy mountains. Ice Brittles of Horn, the freezing power in needed in his horns. Crystal tip can be used to your advantage if you know how. Otherwise, cook it with a creature to make an elixir. Boomerang, a decay wooden boomerang. A useful tool that comes back after you throw it. Its current state has now lessened its performance. I mean, how is, is that really a weapon? I, I know we in real life use it was used to hunt kangaroos, but wouldn't that be, couldn't that be a toy or something? Why is it necessarily decayed? The Zalfos Talon, this Talon must grow from the elbow of the Zalfos. Its aerodynamic shape increases attack power when attached to arrows. Still, if creatures should make elixirs. Zalfos Talon. If I stick those things to a regular surge, do they become boomerang like? Oh, yes. Some... Oh, I didn't see you there. I think that's a light. Oh, blue donkey. Huh, look at us meeting again here. We've met. After waiting at Snowfield Stable, ah, the, the blizzard stopped, so I finally, I was finally able to continue my ruin investigation. This area has not only ruins, but a chasm too. It's the sort of place that's really exciting for our survey team. Okay. Oh. Hang on. It's a bit weird. Uh, okay, but that works. I kind of like it. Is it here? Yeah. Oh. Out of the way. Oh, oh, I can get a uh, ice fruit. Shh, it's all bright. Everything's fine. I don't know if I have stamina. I do. Okay. Oh. Oh, you come pretty, you know? Uh, are you Zelda's horse? And they lost it. Yeah, it seems like... You stay there. Let me check in on her. One more time, please. I hope the horse is safe. Yeah. It is in a horse for me. Your story is really something. Am I going through it again? It's just to make sure I have all the details right. Oh. Sure, no problem. Uh, we've been taking care of the very rare of a very rare animal for Princess Zelda, a golden horse. But the poor thing ran away from her stable. Mm. Um, Princess Zelda's horse vanishing like that is a pretty big story. But tell me again, why did the horse run off? Oh. That's the troubling part, isn't it? When it happened, I finished tending to the horses and was taking a bit of a rest in the stable. 
Then the gentle creature began making terrible sounds, kneeing and buckering around so hard he shook the stable. Mm. So you went outside to see what was wrong, didn't you? Mm. Yes, exactly. And there she was, Princess Zelda. After all this time, she was right in front of her stable. But then the princess came closer, then the, when the horse stretched harder. Aww. Then that animal broke free and bolted away like nothing I've ever seen before. I couldn't help staring at it, at that crazed creature, and when I looked back at the princess, she was just gone. It happened so fast. So we lost sight of the horse, and then Princess Zelda vanished on the spot. That's all strange, from start to finish. My little sources tipped me off about this, but I have to say, I thought it was going to turn out to be nothing much. Hey partner, you're here. I should have known it was you there. Uh, just look at you, tiptoeing up like this and getting your ear in. You've got the makings of a real reporter. Oh, is this someone else from the newspaper? That's right, new partner, plenty of gusto, a lot of promise. Uh, would it be alright if he listened in? And now, please, tell us anything else you can remember, anything at all. Mm. The part was that really bothers me is the poor animal acting that way. The horse truly loved the princess, she rescued it and protected it, she dotted on it. But the animal was terrified, and for the life of me, I can't understand why. So the Princess Zelda would be seen isn't the real Princess Zelda. Eh? Princess Zelda is known far and wide for her compassion. I can't imagine our princess being terrifying at all. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I think I did catch the briefest glimpse of the princess's face. I thought I couldn't have seen it right, but she has such a cold expression. She's been full of warmth when she's been here before. Maybe the princess was furious when I let the horse get away. Oh. I, I really should find that animal and bring it back here for her. Uh. The poor, uh, but the poor horse galloped north and never looked back. I go in search of the steed, but with the huge monster that's flying around up north, it's far too dangerous for me. The best I can do is just keep the horses home here, in the stable nice and clean, just in case it returns. I just hope someone finds the sweet creature and brings it back here safely. Zelda's folding horse, wow! Missed the news. <laughs> hey man, look what I found, Ooh. it's mine. Wait, Link, the horse? <gasps> Isn't that the golden horse that ran away from the stable? I don't know anything about it. What if I took to another stable? I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for going to the trouble of bringing it back here. But well, Harlow was the one looking after that horse, so would you mind bringing back, bringing it to her? She should be around back. She's been so worried ever since the poor thing ran away. Please go put her mind at ease. Anything else? Well... I, I kind of want to take this horse elsewhere. Mm -mm -mm. I'll save here. Run to another stable. That'll probably just be a waste of time, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's probably going to be on their stable now. You. Wait a second, your horse. Is that the gold horse that ran away from Snowfield Stable? I appreciate you wanting to board such beauty with us, but shouldn't return it to its rightful owner at Snowfield Stable. I'm sure they'll be grateful. They must be worried sick. Anything else? Oh, look who's heading back home. No doubt about it, that is Princess Zelda's steed, for certain. Oh. I've been more sick, but now you found it. Can I keep it? Eh? 
Oh, when did you... Oh, never mind. So, partner, when you show up and save the day in the middle of my reporting work here, well, it kind of throws me off my saddle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, just giving you a hard time. Besides, uh, those good deeds of yours just fetter my reputation. You make me proud. Bro, but uh, is it just me or has the misplaced pawn there got a kind of attached to you? Yeah, it's mine now. I know this horse well, and I do believe you're right. Really, you'll be doing me a favor if you kept this gentle creature. Okay, so all that I did was quite pointless. Uh, Princess Zelda asked me to find someone who'd take good care of it. Why, didn't she come here often to look for the horse? <laughs> uh, in your travels around Hyrule, perhaps you even have a chance to reunite this horse with the princess. Uh, if that's the case, partner, then how could you say no to keeping it? Do it as a favor for the horse, at least. Uh, wait, I want you to have this too. Ah, the real bridle. Ah, it was on this horse, so that makes sense that maybe they removed from the other. This bridle uh, is well known for being a favorite of a really rough family. Uh, it's gold ornamentations have an impression, but leave an impression, but its true value lies in its solid craftsmanship. Aye. Also, please take this for a saddle. The shimmery emblem design of the saddle signifies its origins with the Harulian royal family. They say Princess Zelda herself once used the saddle for her own beloved horse. Ah. These are the bright and saddle, the horn left behind by the princess, uh, the, uh, the little ones accustomed to those, so feel free to use them. Also, take this with you. Energizing elixir restores your stamina, which is used when performing physical actions such as climbing walls or swimming. Oh. I thought of using this energizing elixir if I had to help calm the horse after it bothered off. But I don't need it that anymore, so I'll give it to you. Ah. You might still be a rookie, but you are every bit as good of a reporter as I thought you'd be. Thanks to you, I'll have the full story when I write my article. Huh? Oh, that's right. This was your first job, wasn't it? Partner, you did quite well to get such results your first time out. Why, I'm feeling a little proud myself. Here's the start of the old nest egg. Okay. Yuck. As you take on more stories, your base pay will obviously increase. And there are bonuses, of course. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Alright, I'm off to the office to write up this whole piece for the paper. Take care, partner. Uh, let's work together again soon. So long. I found the golden horse, thank you, thank you, thank you. When the princess horse disappeared, it felt as if the world around me went dark. I just kept thinking of how heartbroken Princess Zelda would have been if she came back and her horse was lost. <laughs> Please love and cherish the horse like the princess herself would, okay? Okay. Oh, there's the princess Zelda's golden horse. We are well acquainted already. You mean to register it, I presume? Yes, please. Ah. I'm sorry, but it seems you've hit your registration limit. My registration limit was one extra horse from the previous game. Come on. Uh, you will need to let one of your horses go to free up space. What would I like to do? Let one go. Ah. Um, and I'm not that attached to my shore. I. It was just a cool black horse that I found before I knew I had the others. Through this horse, you may not ever see it again. Are you sure about this? Yes, let it be free. <sighs> I see, party is never easy, but please, rest assured, your horse will be treated with great care by the stable association. Huh? You're not setting free in the wild. Now, with that settled, I can register this new horse it brought. Mm, wow, quite strong. Oh, it doesn't have the main speed. Stamina it was uh, fast. Golden 
Hmm. Oh. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh. Come on, I I just got 50 and I have to spend oh. uh, one point. Oh, okay. Oh. Looks like I got some points of grappling. If you want to get a reward, step inside, counter, okay. Converse this process, first name the horse. Well, they haven't mentioned it yet, so try force. No, it's just a single horse. So, force. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't. Oh. Name your sister. You want to take it? You. Or... Let's take the horse. Oh. I'll take one to care. Okay, the conversation, oh. if you like, you can also change, you can restyle your horse's mane yet. Yet? So I'll be able to unlock it, but I mean, this horse, I couldn't. Okay, mm. let's change. Ah, uh, it's look, it, it looks a bit different. But yeah, yeah, we were supposed to use that, so huh? that's oh. what we're going to use. Oh. Mm, yeah, purple and yellow go well together, but I don't know. I think it looked better on the white one. Receive reward. What's my reward? Uh, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. I'd like to get your point points reward, right? Oh. For five points, you get the horse of fabric. Horse of fabric. Uh, the fabric bearing the design of the horse god Malenia. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh. I hear the dice shop in Hateno Village has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nekluda, you ought to stop by. I'm sure they can help put this fabric to use. Save up just two more points. Huh? You'll be able to use the Malenia bed, uh, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god Malenia. We appreciate your patronage. Let's check down there before. So I'll take a picture. I can't pray to you, can I? Examine. Oh, I could ex. The god statue has been toppled. Okay, the next one would actually be the slate. Okay, the one I'm getting now is quite close to the end. Okay, I think you remember the sword is less. Yeah. Oh, that's where the shrine was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, since I'm here, let's try to fight it. Of your faces, shouldn't you fall to the ground? Wow, a single shot. Oh. Weapon that <laughs> oh, that was good. Sure. 
No. You gonna watch that? Hell. No, it's not. No, we're back going to give me. Which test that? Yeah, I don't think I can yet. Ah. Nice work. This is for saving me. Tomato mushrooms too. Ah, that's the one that had the recipe, isn't it? A dish of fragrant mushrooms simmered with tomato, healthy and rich in fiber. Hi. A traveler, you seem to know how to handle yourself in a fight. Say, are you aware of the mysterious mystery of the geoglyphs that has sprung up all over the world after the upheaval? Ah. I'm an adventurer looking into those geoglyphs, even if I haven't made much progress yet. I came here because I heard the people have seen a geoglyph in this area. Mm. But I walked up, down, and these hills, and not found any trace of it. <laughs> no use complaining, though. So I'll rest a bit and pick up the search again soon. Maybe I'll see you again while I'm at it. Stay safe, traveler. Could I use this part? I didn't notice there was some wooden beams behind it. Oh, if your help present is okay, take this with thanks, red rupee. Now, a rice ball. Very meaty. Oh, a oh, metal butt. A flower the purple odor. Okay, I got ah. some already. Hmm, here. Finally. 
Finally, it is mine! is going on there. <laughs> so that's how the blue moon started. And the poor pet worked in the past. We thought probably she got technology around. <gasps> so weird it seems like i got spoiler even though that's part of the game that i am playing right now huh. birth of the demon king <laughs> 